What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about the Liverpool accent. Many Americans, most Americans, I would say, myself included for the longest time, really only are aware of one British accent, the generic British accent, or really, it's really a generic English accent. You know, most Americans are aware of at least an English accent, there's a Scottish accent, a Welsh accent, and if you're including the UK, there's a, an Irish accent, and that's about it. But it has come to my attention that that is not even remotely close to covering the vast array of accents that exist even in England alone, there are apparently so many accents, like not just in different regions. I've heard that like in London or different places, you can like go down the street and there might be one accent like based on that block or street alone compared to the next one over or different accents that are correlated with social classes. There's a lot of stuff I don't exactly understand. The only thing I know is that there's a lot of accents, and today I'm finally going to learn about one in particular. We're, we're going to focus on the Liverpool accents. When I think of the Liverpool accent, literally nothing comes to mind. I have no idea what that means. So I pulled up the Wikipedia entry here, as I like to do, to teach me things about the world that I don't know. And uh, I ran into this word, Scouse? 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 Apparently, Liverpool English, or the Liverpool, Liverpool accent, dialect, whatever you want to call it, is known as Scouts. There's an entire word dedicated to this, which I have never heard before in my entire life, and I find extremely interesting. Oh, they even have a map here on the right-hand side. So, this is an accent, Scouts, Liverpool English, that is contained within this small region of England only. That is fascinating. I'm not sure, man, I'm not sure we have anything quite like that in the United States. You know, we have accents. Ah, we got, you know, sometimes we, I immediately think of like Boston or like a New York accent. So there are accents in the United States contained to small areas like this, but goodness knows, I don't know any of them going on in Britain for that matter. So uh, what do we have here? Uh, Scouse is an accent and dialect of English associated with Liverpool, Merseyside, Liverpool City region. The Scouse accent is highly distinctive, having been influenced by Irish and Welsh immigrants who arrived via the Liverpool docks. Oh, wow. Uh, it, this has a fascinating history. It has little in common with the accents of its neighboring regions or the rest of England. Oh, I didn't know that. That's kind of neat. Oh man, is this kind of a strange accent to start on? I'd like to go around and kind of learn about the different regional accents in Britain, but did I just happen to start on kind of a, like one of the most unique ones? Like this is in Liverpool in England, but it's very Irish and very Welsh, apparently. All right, it is what it is. That sounds fun to me. A uh, little in common with the accents of England, uh, okay, cool. So that's a nice little introduction to get me up to speed. And we have this video where I'm actually gonna get to hear some Liverpool accent, dialect, scouse, if you will, and have it explained to me in a way my American brain can comprehend, hopefully. So let's take a look. This series is all about discovering regional British accents to give you an idea of the difference between the regional accent and the standard British English accent. Standard British English accent. What does that even mean, honestly? Standard British English accent. Is that like, because if you're saying the word Britain, you're already including Scotland and Wales and England. So is there just, is there a one standard one? There's like the one Americans do, that's like the Harry Potter accent, basically like, hello, how's it going there? You know, that's a terrible, that's my terrible rendition of it. Is that like the 
the the general one? Is there a general one? Sometimes they are so different, even us natives find it hard to understand. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. Well, I, I am really, really curious. This is getting like kind of built up, uh, especially if I keep pausing it. I can, I can build up the tension even more, just keep pausing. But even uh, people who live by Liverpool can have trouble understanding the people who live in Liverpool? What do you call them? Liver Liverpoolers? Liverpoolites? Liverpoolins? Or, uh, people residing in Liverpool. Who are we meeting today? Oh. This is Rebecca. Oh. Rebecca is from Liverpool. Okay. That means she is a scouser. Hello. A scouser! She literally answered my question. I love that. A scouser. Awesome. Rebecca is from Liverpool. That means she is a scouser. Okay. Hello, Rebecca. All right, babe. People from Li What? <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> all, all right, babe. Is that is that like the greeting? Scouser greeting? The scouser. Hello, Rebecca. All right, babe. All right, babe. All right, babe. In in the United States, that's what you say. Uh, to your wife when when dinner's ready you're like all right babe you know <laughs> apparently it's a greeting in liverpool as well people from liverpool are very friendly and down to earth but if you find yourself in a conversation with a scouser you might find that you're a little bit confused oh because they use some words that we don't normally use in standard british english that's fascinating so this really goes beyond just an accent this is not just a, another unique British accent. It is, but it's more than that. It's a dialect. There's actually slang or words and phrases that are only used by scousers. That is so fun. Okay. I am positive I've never heard these before. We're going to go through some of the common ones with you now. Okay. <laughs> Busies. Police. <laughs> this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Busies. Look out, it's the busies. Look out, it's the police. Why does the scouser on the right, that, I'm never going to get tired of using that word, that scouser on the right, uh, the way she's talking with her scouser accent, Liverpool accent, is kind of like sing-songy. Is that part of it as well, or is she, like, exaggerating? Because it almost sounds like she's singing or something. Police. Look out, it's the busies. Look out, it's the police. <laughs> Kex. Trousers. Kex. I bought some new Kex. I bought some new trousers. Okay. I, I can understand, like, a, a term for police, because it's kind of fun. And, like, regionally, you know, there can be different words. Cops, whatever, police. But uh, a different word for trousers? Which is already, like... Americans would say pants, I think. <laughs> pants. Brits would say trousers. And then within Britain, scousers would say kecks. Made up. Really happy. Oh. oh, wow, these are really interesting. Oh, I'm made up with that. Oh, I'm really happy with that. <laughs> what's interesting is, uh, what is this, cob on? What? The, you know what's really interesting? It's sticking out to me as well. You could never, <laughs> or I should say it this way, sometimes with slang, hearing the slang word, you can kind of understand or reason out what they're saying. Just based on the slang word, you can kind of figure out what, what word they're trying to say or what their meaning is. There's no possible way I would have any idea what they are saying in Liverpool if they used any of these. Like this, cob on, made up, kex. I wouldn't, it might as well be another language. Cob on. Bad mood. <laughs> Have you got a cob on? Am I in a bad mood? <laughs> I only laugh, not just because it's like so different. So ridiculously different. It's very, I mean, I love that this exists. Like different dialects, different accents within our language of English. That is so cool that this exists, but it's also very entertaining to hear because I've 
I've literally never heard these words in my life. <laughs> Have you got a cob on? Bad mood. Have you got a cob on? <laughs> Am I in a bad mood? No. Uh, bevy. Drink or okay. beverage? Bevy. Uh, fancy a bevy? Finally. Finally one that makes kind of... You could, you could logic your way through it and be like, a bevy. Bevy. Beverage. Okay, it would, I probably wouldn't even get there, but you can see how it went from beverage to bevy. Bevy is just more fun to say. Do I fancy a drink? Yeah. <laughs> scran. Food. Scran. He's got a cob on because he wants some scran. <laughs> He's in a bad mood because he wants some food. Oh, yeah. Bifters. Cigarettes. Bifters. I'm just going to the offy to buy some bifters. I'm just going to the off licence to buy some cigarettes. Okay. Gagging in. Being nosy. Gegging in. Fantastic word. Gegging. Being nosy. Are there so many nosy people in Liverpool? They needed they needed to dedicate this own their own word to it. Gegging in. <laughs> e, are you gagging in? <laughs> hey, are you being nosy? I love how animated she is as well. Like it kind of goes along with the dialect, with the the whole accent and dialect. It all works. It's so like it has so much personality. Not me. So there's a small selection of some of the words you would typically hear from a scouser. Wow. So let's now look at the actual accent and some of the differences right. in pronunciation between a scouse accent and a standard British English accent. Okay, okay. The first thing we're going to look at is the fricative T. So when a T ends a word and sometimes when it's in the middle of a word, then rather than having a plosive T sound, a scouser might make it fricative, which means it vibrates like this. Oh. So if I said right, a scouser would say right. Oh, that's subtle. I, that sounded like such a strange change that I thought was going to be very obvious, but that's, that's pretty subtle to me. Right. 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 Let's get going. Huh. Right. Let's get going. Right. 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 It's very subtle. I can't even do it. Don't. 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 It's it's like she just puts more gusto, chutzpah, into the T sound. Like that's, I don't know. There's just more T there. Somehow, uh, Scousers have found a way to generate more T sound. <laughs> Water. Water. Okay. Water. Water. Yeah, okay. I need a bottle of water. I hear it. I need a bottle of water. Yeah, okay. Another typical feature of the Scouse accent is the K sound. So when a word ends with a K, a Scouser may constrict this sound and make it a <laughs> kind of sound. <laughs> what? So, for example, if I was to say back, a Scouser would say back. back. <laughs> I, I got it. I, th I thought I was going to over-exaggerate. Bach. Back. Bach. I'm coming Bach. back later. I'm coming back later. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. This is, so, this is the greatest. I love how, and they're actually doing a very good job of breaking down the actual accent itself. The first part was more about literal terms and words that are different. Like, as if Scouse is another language or something. This whole accent part, like, it, it, it's easy to understand. And, man, the, the T thing is so subtle, but this is very obvious. The Look. 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 Yeah. Look at him. Look at him. Okay. I will. <laughs> <laughs> A fake bake. <laughs> A fake bake. Fake bake. Oh, uh, okay. A fake bake. Fake bake. Wow. That looks like a fake bake. That looks like a fake bake. Okay, I finally understand why this accent is known. Why it is so distinctive and, like, known. <laughs> I was like, the, reading the Wikipedia and then this video we're watching has, like, millions of views. And I was like, why is this so... Apparently lots of people are interested in this particular accent. I totally get it. Totally get it. It's fantastic. <laughs> sounds like you've got a hairball. <laughs> One of the differences in vowels is the a uh, vowel. Okay. In standard British English, we have a, uh, but in Scouse, you have o. Uh. Oh. So, for example, if I was to say come, 
Kom. 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 Kom her. Kom her. Wow. Up. Up. Wow. It and I and I'm am hearing the. Uh, I think there was uh oh man what was it Irish and Welsh was it yes Irish and Welsh I'm hearing that I I'm literally hearing that especially with this up 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 come up here come up here come up here come up here oh yeah shut 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 wow shut the door that literally this one in particular really really makes it sound like an Irish accent to me. Shut the door. All right. <laughs> Keep your head on. <laughs> Another feature that may sometimes change is the TH. Okay. In standard British English, it's the. But in Scouse, we have d. For example. What? Though. We're, we're out here replacing THs with d. No, not though, not though. Do? Do. Do. Though. Do. Wow, T-H with a D sound. That's big. That's huge. Day. They. Day. 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 They. Day. They do, though, don't they, though? They do, though, don't they, though? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Sometimes when a T has a vowel on either side, some old school Scousers may change the T for an R. Oh. And a very famous example of this is the lovely Scylla Black. If you don't know who she is, Google her, check her out. But she okay. had a catchphrase, and the catchphrase was... A lot of, a lot of laughs. <laughs> she's saying a lot of, a lot of laughs. Oh. But she's changing that T from lot to an R. Laura, Laura laughs. Okay. What if I was... Man, there is, gosh, this accent. I don't, I've never had an accent, like, broken down in this way for me. But there are so many little rules, like... I have kind of a newfound respect for, I don't know, actors and performers who are trying to learn a different accent. You basically have to memorize this entire set of accent rules like I'm learning right now. And that would be incredibly difficult. To say, not a lot of laughs. Not a lot of laughs. <laughs> not a lot of laughs. <laughs> not a lot of laughs. <laughs> I can hear it now that they explained it to me, but I would have had no clue on earth what they were saying, Laura, Laura laughs. I would have been like, uh, okay, take my money. Okay, uh, uh, please don't shoot. I, I wouldn't have known what was going on. <laughs> it's so funny. Two more words that you may come across regularly, but are pronounced very differently by true Scousers. Okay. Are the words something. Sutton. Sutton. Something. Sutton. Sutton. It's very different. Wow, that is, <laughs> oh my, this is so great. Oh my gosh. Man, this is so much more than just an accent. Like, some of these words literally sound like other words. And nothing. 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 Nothing to worry about. Nothing going on. <laughs> nothing going on. <laughs> wow. Great. Lovely. Well, we've had such a great time today. <laughs> Shall I do it in a Scouse accent? We've had a great time today <laughs> learning all about the Scouse accent. Sorry, in standard British English, we've had a great time today learning all about the Scouse accent. Huh. So I want to say a huge thank you to Rebecca. Wow. You have been wonderful. Now, if you wow. are... Wow, wow. So that was my first time listening to Scouse, Liverpool accent. And by the end of it, I have to say, it started sounding incredibly Irish. And then there were a couple rules and a couple of words that just sounded like, I don't know what. They sounded Scouser. That's what they that's what they are. That's all I can describe it as. Interested in other regional accents, then do <laughs> be sure to check out some of the other videos in this series. Wow. Also, if you are not There you have it. And that is the end of that. That was by English Like a Native. And I gotta give that a like. That was fantastic. It it is not easy to break down a dialect like that in a way that is almost scientific. Like breaking it down into different language rules and pronunciation and, oh, don't say T, say this instead. And man, this was extraordinarily fascinating. Like there's nothing that compares to this, like in my perspective in the United States, nothing that even comes close to this. Uh, and this makes me a bit excited to maybe take a look at some of the other accents around Britain. But this was fantastic. It's like nothing I've ever heard before. 
I was I went into this thinking, okay, this is gonna be some kind of British accent, barely, barely discernible from just like a British, a normal English accent. No, this is, this was exceeded my expect expectations in the best way possible. Like I absolutely love it, learning about uh, different dialects within the English language makes everything so much more fun to know that this kind of thing exists. It's a, a really cool culture, a re really cool, really fun to learn about. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to British culture and stuff in Britain about Britain that I have never learned before or seen before, feel free to subscribe for more of that. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.